1,000 metres, that's it. They sprinting away from the 1,000 metre marker. November reigns there, Eddie Sweard. Casual Vars right there, Jade Bay with the cheek pieces and Schiffer, not much to choose between the first five. Then she's a stunner, Mr. Whatever. Guantanamera is about eight lengths off the leader. And then comes Zestful, Mike's Choice, one of the trailers. About to come to the 500 now, and on the inside, November Rain, Schiffer, Casual Var, then Jade Bay with the cheek pieces, Eddie Sweard. They are followed by Mr. Whatever, she's a stunner, then Guantanamera. Coming to the 400, Schiffer the leader. Casual Var, November Rain, Eddie Sweat getting into the race now. It's Schiffer the leader, Eddie Sweat, Mr. Whatever on the inside. Mr. Whatever, Eddie Sweat, Schiffer still hangs tough over the last 100. Schiffer on the outside, Eddie Sweat, Mr. Whatever's running a big race on the inside, Mr. Whatever, Mr. Whatever got up to win it, maybe Schiffer second, then Eddie Sweat and behind that Guantanamera. So Mr. Whatever finds extra in the latter stages and Mr. Whatever, Anton Marcus, Patrick Lund, the son of McCarg for SM Fury wins it. Schiffer in the pink will probably just get second from Eddie Sweat on the inside. Guantanamera is nearest us. Jade Bay, she's a stunner. Casual Var, Zestful. And further back in the field is November Rain. We'll take a look at that head on shortly. And you'll see Mr. Whatever on the left-hand side, Eddie Sweat, November Rain, and Schiffer hangs tough. Mike's Choice, and she's a stunner trying to run on. But Mr. Whatever continues to plug away and records its six win from 17 outings and wins it well for Patrick Lunn and Anton Marcus. You'll see the big salute from Anton after the winning line. There we go. He looks across, and another salute, and another win for Anton Marcus. Until the running of race number 11, it's back to the studio. Well, race number 10 of 1,000 metres on the poly and a victory year to number four, Mr. Whatever, giving Anton Marcus his spot win on Vodacom Durban July Day. Well done to the Pat Lund team here and a host of owners with the son of Magok. He's done them proud. Six wins from 17 runs. A decent horse, is, uh, this horse, uh, Pat. Yes, look, he's very good over the 1,000 metres. Um, I've got him very well at the moment. And uh, he ran a very good race the other day in the Post Merchants. He ran, uh, ran fifth, mm. but he ran into a little bit of trouble. Could have run third. That was over 1,200. Um, Anton had a, had a very nice race in him. You know, we planned that we will sit him up a couple of lengths off him. The pace is going to be fast, and the horse responded nicely. Have you been working the horse back home on the surface? He's, he's cantered a few times. I don't sprint them up on the poly. I just canter them. I canter from the 1,000, and he's been cantering very nicely on the poly. Well, well done to all the owners here also, a whole host of them, because uh, this horse has certainly done them proud. Yes, I'd like to thank them as well for the support. You know, this horse has been quite, you know, to, to get him right the first time, you know. He took quite a bit of money to get him right. But now he's, he's well and he's right. I think he should carry on from here. Not the biggest string in KZN, but you can certainly turn out the results, Pat. You've got a winner on uh, Africa's uh, Premier Race Day. Well done to yourself on your team. Thanks very much. Well done to trainer Pat Lund. Anton Marcus. I'm just having a look at the screen there, Anton. Saluting the air. This, uh, this victory meant a lot to you. I've really got a soft spot for this horse. I just, I just really enjoy riding him. Talk us through it, you know, first time on the surface. How things worked out for you? We kind of discussed it with Pat and Lloyd prior to the race. And we thought, you know, we'll let them go along today. And let's see if he can finish. And uh, it worked out well. I know you're a jockey that goes and aims for the big ones. But... Uh, you got four winners today. You'll, you'll take that. It's turned out to be a successful day for you. I'll take it with both ends, Dees. Quickly, before you leave us, what was your uh, reflection and uh, just a comment on the way the Vodacom Durban July race was run? Dees, you know, coming back to my horse, I mean, I, he, has, he could have stayed in the box, really. I mean, he jumped out. Um, of course, on his inside, took him out slightly. There was a bit of interference on his, on his inside. You know, it was my intention to, to have him in the first three, and I ended up sitting second last. Um, he was tracking Louis the King, who I still believe... 
in all probability, would have run third, even though he might have appeared to have been out of his ground. Mm. And then Louis, Louis the King clipped heels. Well, he may not have clipped heels. You just see he went down, you know, and I was behind him. So, unfortunately, uh, there was no race whatsoever for my horse. But, you know, it's, it's sad, you know. I mean, everybody predicted and everybody saw that the race was void of pace. As I said, that's always, it, was, it was my intention to place. And yet uh, nobody does anything about it. But, you know, anyway, you know, obviously good luck to, good, good luck to the victors. Before you leave us, can Anton Marcus ride a five on Vodacom Durban July Day? Please, I'm always trying. You know that. Thanks for that. Thank you. Well done to winning jockey Anton Marcus, a victorious here in race number 10. Come through, sir. I didn't see you standing there in the background. Well done to you. Thank you, Dees. Fantastic. I mean, you, you guys, you know, I mentioned to Pat, and um, Anton seems to have a soft spot for the horse. He's really done you guys proud again. Yeah, we're very humbled on the greatest uh, horse racing day in South Africa. We're very humbled as low-key owners, and thank goodness the other owners aren't here because when they are away, he wins, and we're grateful for that. You know, I just want to touch on, on Pat Lund. You guys have uh, supported him uh, over the years, and you know, he continues to deliver. He's got an impressive strike rate. Absolutely, and uh, people mustn't forget he was the first equine millionaire trainer in, so in South Africa. Model and man. Th and that speaks for itself. Well, to your guys and all the other partners, Enjoy the rest of it. Enjoy the celebrations. I'm sure there's going to be a big party in the, in the Lund camp. Well done, well played. Thank you very much, Dees. Fantastic. You. Well done. And, and Pat and Lloyd for a wonderful job. Well done. Yeah. Enjoy it. Well done to the winning connections here of number four, Mr. Whatever. That is race number 10. And uh, we got two more to go on Vodacom Durban July Day. We're going to break and come back in a minute's time. i got some important presentations, I'm told, by Precious. Best corporate marquee, best hospitality facility, best picnic site. All the winners are here beside one of them, but we'll give you those winners in a moment.